Welcome to Lisa's Italian Kitchen on this late fall, early winter evening. We are making the perfect dessert for this time of year. It's warming, comforting, and delicious. Espresso budino or espresso pudding. Very few ingredients, all made in one pot. And then we pour them into these darling little ramekins. I like to use the ramekins with the lid because then you don't have to cover it with saran wrap when you refrigerate it. You can also pour it into beautiful wine glasses to be more elegant. So here we go. We have a medium size pan over medium heat. And we're taking four cups of whole milk and pouring it into the pan. Now we're going to take three eggs and one at a time, we're gonna beat them into the milk. We're gonna put the timer on for four minutes. That's how long I want this milk to heat. This is a typical dessert from Northern Italy where they use a lot of milk, cream and eggs for pudding-like desserts because you know it's very cold in northern Italy and these are delicious comforting warming desserts very cold kind of like where I live so I like these kind of desserts too second egg in just make sure the eggs are well incorporated into the milk this is, you're gonna let the milk and egg mixture cook for about four minutes. And of course, the egg and the milk is your basis for any pudding. And we're adding delicious ingredients. Espresso, unsweetened cocoa powder, and sugar. And now the third egg. The milk is starting to froth. Make sure I get that egg yolk well incorporated. And we're going to let this cook for four minutes. So I lined up our ingredients here in order of the way we're using them. Next, we have one cup of sugar, and we're going to pour this in, and we're going to stir this again with your whisk until the sugar is entirely incorporated, melted into the uh, milk, egg, and sugar. So I hope you can see here that this is getting much thicker already. It's only been on for about four and a half minutes and already getting thicker. You know, this is a very easy, homemade pudding dessert. People will be very impressed because it has a wonderful coffee, rich coffee ch chocolate flavor from the freshly brewed espresso and the unsweetened cocoa powder. It's a wonderful dessert on a cold evening accompanying any meal, pasta, a protein, anything. So we're going to, cook. now I don't feel any of the sugar. You'll feel when the sugar is all dissolved. Okay, so I don't feel any sugar in here. We've got a lovely froth. Now, Lisa's tip number one on making budino. We don't want this to boil, this is milk. So a froth is okay because that means that the heat, the temperature from the bottom of the pan has risen. That's what we want. The milk is all nice and, and equally warm, but we never want milk or cream to boil. So this is perfect. We've got a little bit of froth and our sugar is completely dissolved. Next step. We have four steps to this pudding, that's it. I have one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Lisa's tip number two, use very good cocoa powder. I like the Dutch cocoa powder. Um, Ghirardelli is also a really good brand. You want something that uses very high quality chocolate. You realize this is going to be you know, the main of uh, one of the two main flavors in your budino. So you want it to be a good quality chocolate. Again, just we're going to whisk this until all the chocolate 
melt into the milk, egg, and sugar mixture. And we get all the lumps out. Such a simple, easy dessert. If you have younger members of your family who like to cook with you on Sunday for Sunday dinner, the way my children did when they were young uh, and small, this is an easy dish. If they're old enough to be at the stove, this is a very, very easy dish for them to prepare. And it's fun pouring it into the ramekins, putting the little lids on, putting it in the fridge, and then bringing it out at dessert time. This is also, of course, a wonderful pick-me-up in the middle of the afternoon with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Okay, so our chocolate, our cocoa is almost completely incorporated. I'm going to stir another minute or two. The cocoa is the most difficult to get incorporated because of course it has the most lumps. Oh, once again, we need smell-o-vision. Unbelievable, and I haven't even put the espresso in yet. And this smells so good from the chocolate the sugar, the milk, and the eggs. The beauty of Italian desserts are, is that the majority are very easy to make and not overly sweet, which is wonderful. At the end of a meal, you know, you just need una cosa piccola, just a little bit of dolce and dolcezza, but not exaggerated. Okay, so we have our cocoa all incorporated. Mmm, delicious. And now we have our last ingredient. I have a half a cup of freshly brewed espresso coffee. If you are asking right now, can we use American coffee? Resounding, no. It has to be espresso. Espresso is a different type of bean. It's a different flavor, a different richness. We want the real thing. Plus, it's good for you. We're gonna pour that in. And once that's incorporated, we are good to go. So now I've switched from using my whisk to a wooden spoon because all of our ingredients, as you can see, are beautifully incorporated. This beautiful chocolate espresso smooth liquid and it's getting so nice and thick, it's coating the back of my spoon. So I'm just going to continue stirring for it to incorporate for maybe four to five minutes more. And then we're going to pour it into each ramekin, put it in the fridge for two to three hours. So it's another thing that you can make Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, depending on what time you eat Sunday dinner. And then we'll let it chill for two to three hours. And it, you can serve it with a dollop of whipped cream or just by itself. Absolutely delicious. So now that I'm stirring this another four to five minutes, look at the beautiful thickness. Again, like I, as I said earlier, sticking to the back of the spoon, the more you cook it, the thicker it's going to get. You do have to stir continuously. We don't want any sticking to the bottom of the pan, but really just about five minutes of stirring like this. Um, and if those of you who have made homemade pudding know the whole milk and the egg make this nice and thick and then as it refrigerates and gets cold it will of course congeal and be the perfect pudding consistency. And here is my espresso pudding after being in the refrigerator for a few hours. Look at this beautiful texture. Homemade pudding with 
your cocoa espresso. So delicious. Buon appetito.